only thing worse than a coward is a coward with power. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you why taxes are so damn high in New York. Coming to us from the New York Post, ex-Chancellor Carranza shacking up with staffer he hired for a six-figure job. This is written by Susan Edelman. This is uh, Richard Carranza and his wife, Monique. They filed for divorce in Brooklyn Supreme Court in August of 2020. That's right. This this is the... Uh, this is the wife. Okay, and yeah, he's like, <laughs> look at the smug ass look on his face. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a very smug look on my man's face. Check, like, like, look, look at him. He's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. We're, we're, we're done here. I'm moving on up. Ex NYC Schools Chancellor Richard Carranza has left his wife for an administrator he brought from Houston to New York for a six figure Department of Education job. Raquel Sosa, who quit the Department of Education, was just, just last week. And Carranza now lists the same luxury high rise condo in San Antonio, Texas, as their current address records show. Their relationship appears to confirm a complaint that Carranza used his powerful position to favor pals, but one that city school investigators did not touch. Once again, this is a ton of money, all at taxpayer expense. In December 2018, eight months after Carranza became New York City Chancellor, his, administra his administration named Sosa, a Houston Elementary School principal, senior director of ELL, English Language Learner, newcomers and students in temporary housing with a starting salary of $149,000. Ooh, that's good. that's good money. That's good money. All taxpayer money. Yay! So, you guys want to see her? Huh? Huh? All right. Drum roll, please. Not bad. Not too shabby. Okay, okay. I mean, $150,000, if you can swing it, why not, right? Why not? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, she could probably bang me into, into giving her $150,000. Yes. Yes. All right. I, I, we, we kind of get it, Carranza. <laughs> Ex-NYC Chancellor Richard Carranza has left his wife, Monique, for the former Houston principal that he met while leading schools in that city. In October 2019, Sosa got a lofty new position, Senior Director for Development, Support, and Implementation in the Office of Curriculum, Instruction, and Professional Learning. Holy shit, she did absolutely nothing. <laughs> she did. At, this was a, she, she uh, I, I hate the bureaucrats and I hate pencil pushers. So thusly, you know how I feel about it. it, it like, yo, she did, it, she did little to nothing. All right. That, most of that job was spent on vacation. <laughs> okay. Uh, her salary increased $156,274 in 2020. Sosa worked remotely until mid-July. Her last day was August 31st, said Department of Education spokeswoman Katie O'Hanlon. Carranza quit his $363,346,000 a year chancellor's job in March Muy caliente. <laughs> Jeez, what? I, I, okay. With schools still in session amid the pandemic, after leading the nation's largest school system for nearly three years. <sighs> Shit, man. Seriously. It, all taxpayer. Oh my goodness, why are our taxes all so high? Right here. Like right here, like these, like this, like it's, it's shit like this. Oh my goodness. He explained he had to mourn loved ones lost the CV, but promptly took a job with an ed tech vendor with millions of dollars in Department of Education contracts. Last week, Carranza and Sosa posted the same cheek to cheek Facebook profile photos. Got ye mi vida, buenas días con cafecito. Thank you for making coffee for me every morning. Exactly how I like it. Tiamo, tiamo. 
<laughs> Carranza, 54, makes no secret of their romance. He has committed to on various photos. He has commented on various photos of Sosa, 47, making remarks such as absolutely gorgeous mi vida. On August 12th, when Sosa posted a video of a mariachi concert, Carranza wrote, Thank you for joining me, mi amor. Tu amor. Tu amor. Sorry. Sosa met Carranza when he served as Houston school superintendent, formerly Sosa Gonzalez. She was already divorced when she moved to New York City, of course. Because, like, yeah, I mean, shoot, she, like, she's 47. Somebody definitely lock that down. How many kids? The, I, I assume the kids are grown at this point. Carranza was married. His wife, Monique, filed for divorce in Brooklyn Supreme Court in August 2020 and eventually moved back to California while he remained on the job in the city. They have two children. She did not return calls. The, the divorce is not final, according to court records. The hiring of Sosa and two other friends from California, where Carranza was school superintendent in San Francisco, generated a complaint in early 2019 to the special commission of investigation for nyc schools the post revealed so yeah somebody was on to their shit here's her again yeah she's looking a little bit more 47 in this picture but you know definitely like hey, yeah, yeah yeah even at 47 she can get it though a whistleblower of a whistleblower letter <clears throat> said department of education put them on the payroll in 2018 at the at the direction of chancellor carranza Without advertising the openings, as usual, and without interviewing other candidates. That's right. It's just for you, baby girl. Just for you. Get the blow. He's blowing all the loads because she's 47. So, you know, it's it's probably smooth sailing now. <laughs> Blow that little semen sitting there looking around like, hey, what's going on? Oh, shit. <laughs> At the time, Carranza called a, the criticism of uh, form a bias against him as a man of color. Oh, Christ, these people stop stop like honestly if i were a judge like as soon as you start saying that shit in my courtroom i right, you lose boom done out the c the sci said this week the case has been closed and no further information is available a spokeswoman refused to say whether sci investigated the allegations or why it closed the case she insisted that mayor de blasio had no influence on its decisions another woman named in the complaint to c sci martha martin was uh, was a San Francisco teacher who met Carranza when he was that school's superintendent. Hired in October 2018, the Department of Education named her associate director for community and family empowerment in the Division of Multilingual Learners. Oh my God, with $119,587 salary. Martin resigned in October 2019, the Department of Education said. A spokeswoman gave no reason. Also named was Abram Jimenez, then vice president of Voluminous education incorporated a california ed ed tech firm doing business with nyc schools he was named executive director of continuous school improvement a newly created title that doesn't that now doesn't exist jimenez quit that two hundred and fifty thousand four hundred and six dollar a year job in july 2019 as the post prepared to reveal he held stock in software vendor Illumina education illuminate education and apparent conflict of interest Carranza and Sosa did not respond to requests for comments and so yeah that's uh, it'll it'd be interesting to see uh how that plays out but long and short boys I mean what do we say here huh what do, what do we say here? I personally I get it but <laughs> I get why bro I get why she she baddie she a baddie particularly at that age, I mean, she she definitely aged up. Like, she, you know she was 20 years ago, 20, 25 years ago. Oh, my gosh. She'd make it duck melt, bro. <laughs> like, now at 47, but but she, she definitely carried it well over the years. So, I mean, we get it. But at the same time, let's be real. This is all taxpayer money. Everything, like like, all these hundreds of thousands of dollars of salaries for positions that more than likely don't i like have really have nothing to do with educating children at all I, I, this is why the school system is sabotaged and, and, and so much bullshit right i mean this is a part of the reason why the the, the taxes end up get have gotten so high and we find ourselves with you know the insane 
particularly in areas like New York, New Jersey, the insane cost of living that we do. It, it all plays into it, whether you want to realize it or not. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it like this. Like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to give videos like this every single day, share. Because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you can like are the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. Actually, go in the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? The reason this call he did anything wrong primarily because it's all taxpayer dollars. I seriously, if this if this didn't really have such a uh, have such a detrimental impact on the uh, on basically the entire the entirety of life in these um, particular areas, eh, it'd just be like it'd just be another day of you know oh dude gave a chick that he wanted to bang a whole lot of money. <laughs> It happens, right? She shorty going to sit there trying to secure her bag. I mean, we, we all know this. It's respected. It's the game at this point. But to sit there and really, like, it, 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 for, but for it to all be, you know, taxpayer money, that's where it's like, bro, I think you were overpaid. M M Mr. Carranza, make absolutely no mistake. I, it's not, oh, it's a woman. It's, oh, all y'all are overpaid bureaucrats who just sit here and throw money around. Like, like there's no... Like, there's no repercussions for the shit when in reality, you're the same assholes who make everything more expensive, whether you realize it or not. So I'm here to point that out. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.